Hi everyone, this is my shed solar panel setup. I started with three panels totaling 45 watts, but I never leave well enough alone. I recently added three additional panels, adding 45 more watts, giving me a total now of 90 watts, uh, increasing the charging to my batteries. I secured the panels using super strut metal framing channels and super strut nylon cone nuts uh, with washers placing the panels between the washer and strut. I cut the size a piece of trek decking that I had laying around to make the edges of the panels more stable. This is just a quick shot of the one side top and bottom edges. Because I didn't want to put holes in my shingles and roof, I decided to attach from end to end super strut channels and L brackets. It also gives me plenty of room if I get the urge to add more panels. I also raised it so the panels are about four inches off the roof for airflow. It gets hot up here. I supported the panels and struts with pressure treated 2x4 pieces underneath and placed the panel wires through a PVC pipe and connected them to a wire terminal block in back of the shed and from there into the shed connecting to the controller. Let me show you real quick the terminal block. All the wires coming from the panels are connected on this side of the terminal block and on the other side are the extended wires leading into the shed. This is just a quick shot here of the panel wires coming into the shed. And going into or down into a uh, disconnect box. If I want to shut off any charging from the panels, uh, for whatever reason, I just have to flip that off switch and from there coming up and out uh, into my controller regulator let me show you my little setup this is just a better viewpoint where the disconnect box is placed I purchased this solar panel controller regulator on eBay for ten dollars it's an easy controller to set up clearly marked where to put the wires solar panel wire connections battery connections and this 12 volt connection works with this button as a light control option. Not sure what I'll use it for just yet, but I'll think of something and I'll let you know. And this is just an analog dash voltmeter that I bought for a few bucks. Gives me an idea of what my volts are. Besides just adding more panels and a different controller, I added a matching 12 volt deep cycle battery. Here's just a quick shot of the clips I used to secure the door. Here's my dash meter and the wires leading to the batteries negative on one battery terminal and positive on the other battery terminal. I connected both batteries in parallel doubling the capacity or amp hours of the battery while maintaining the voltage of one of the individual batteries which is 12 volts. Physically connecting them positive to positive terminal and negative to negative terminal. I supported the batteries with lag bolts and 2x3s. Also I have an inverter connected directly to one of the batteries. This is a 750 watt inverter. I connected an outlet plug to 14-2 Romex wire supplying AC for some lighting uh, in the shed. 
I plan to use this second outlet to run an extension cord uh, going to my house uh, for some lights and TV in the event we lose electricity in the house. And from there the Romex wire goes to this junction box where my connections meet. And runs along the length of the shed. To the switches. This is just a piece of electrical tape um, just to indicate the power source coming from the inverter at the end of the run. One switch for the light in the middle of the shed and second light over the solar panel setup. And I have a third switch uh, for a motion detector light on the outside of the shed. I specifically purchased a motion detector light that I can use either standard incandescent light bulbs or CFL, compact fluorescent light bulbs. These are the outdoor 90 watt CFL bulbs that are using just 23 watts of energy. They take less than a minute to warm up but work really well with uh, my shed solar panel setup.